Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. There's our six stars and I'm gonna go back over to this save file. So I'm gonna go and show you here. Remember the whole hold select then hit L L B A R thing? Well on the SNES version it's hold select then hit X X Y B A. You know, it's just the equivalent button dealios. Uh, and a little fun fact about the Throw 5 one here. This was not in the SNES version. Yeah! <laughs> but it is like kind of added in place of the multiplayer thing, because you see, you could actually play the Seed Spit and the Throw 4 one as multiplayer, but I don't believe you can do that in the uh, GBA version, because probably like limitations or whatnot, I don't know. <laughs> Because, you know, just connecting your GBAs together with two copies just to play two games, not the same as just connecting a controller. <laughs> and I got some other sort of little level fun facts here to close out the part. I'm going to go over to 4-1 and see you at another sort of life farming area. Got yourself a shell? Do you have yourself a shell? Well... I, I guess you could use that one too, but... <laughs> uh, if you basically use up one of your eggs and just like hang out over... Oops! Hang out over here, get that camera flipped around... Uh, yeah, I, I, th I think you see where this is going here. <laughs> but since this is kinda, you know, late-ish in the game, it's not quite as handy of a life farming area as the one at 1-7. But, you know, this, this this can work too, I suppose. <laughs> it's about the same life farming rate as ever, because the Shy Guys won't come out of the pipes any faster, no matter how offset the timing of that shell is. So yeah, you can just continually get one-ups of this way. <laughs> but I, I, I think we've got, got enough one-ups in regards to that, and I never really showed you the death animation of a big old tap tap, did I? No, I did not, so let's go in and check it out. Hmm, maybe it's actually faster standing on the front of the log rather than the back of the- oh! Back of the log, well. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you're on the front, it makes the wave catch a little bit more consistently. See how the animation for the lava in the background is basically staying on par with me, rather than if I go to the back, it kind of kind of gets away from me. See that? Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's actually a bit faster going on ye old front of it. Hmm. Anyway, so how about that tap tap. <laughs> I was expecting to live through that first time, but apparently not. Yes, yes, yes. I know it's it's yes, it's totally over. I got six thousand points. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off! <laughs> Crack that floor! Open! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh! oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> well, let's just see how things go here. I don't know if it's wide enough for him to- whoop! For him to fall down. I don't really care about any sort of baby loss of pointages at the moment. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Yeah! We got the animation! <laughs> Because, yeah, I've already 100% level, so big whoop. <laughs> and also, it's significantly faster to go through this level when you're not searching through everything for uh, obvious reasons. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead over to 6 6 to show you those spookies again. Because remember, I had I, I couldn't figure out how to make them change to a bandit? Well, I figured out how to do it. <laughs> You see, there's one thing that I didn't try, namely because the Spookies were mostly not in the position that I needed them to be. But if I go to one that I can jump up to, like from underneath, I can uh, sort of kind of, sort of kind of, like mess with that a little bit. You know, I'll be, actually be able to do the transformation here. So let's go over here, and this time we're gonna time ourselves to actually hit this. Well, actually, can I get you to... Well... <laughs> so say, can I get you to actually go up above me? That would be... that would be lovely. Uh, oh, there we go. Now, watch us. That's how you do it! <laughs> See that? Yeah, that's why it's easiest to do there, because you can actually 
get it to go above you by manipulating its movement movements by kind of drawing it around and whatnot. And also, um, while these guys are vulnerable to fire, Spookies are not. Now, those cloaks just too strong until you lap them up. <laughs> Alright, so now that you've seen those two little fun facts, I guess we can get out of here now. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'll show you something over in the Bowser boss battle. Oh, yes. It's so weird how consistent I've gotten at that helicopter segment. <laughs> So, another little fun fact that I really mentioned before is that you can get 7 lives if your score is 777 points in a world. So, yeah. <laughs> just just thought I would mention that since I'm, of course, going to pick door number 4 just to speed my way down over there and, you know, kind of reminding me of, you know, the many, many lives that you can get in this game various ways and... Yeah, I never really mentioned that the 777 thing was actually a thing. <laughs> I just, you know, I always just kept getting perfect scores on everything. So it wasn't really, it wasn't really something that came up into my mind or anything like that. Anyway, see you at phase one of the Baby Bowser battle. Hey, check this out. <laughs> yeah, that route is really easy when you take door number four. So remember that line that Baby Bowser wanted to rock? I hate the Yoshi. Well, he wasn't kidding about that. It's just that I couldn't really show it in said run because it would ruin my perfect score. <laughs> but I, I can show it now that, that all is well here in terms of 100%ing. So here we go. Huh? Mm -hmm. What kind of doing donkey is that? There it is. Looks like fun. Me wanna watch. Mine! Mine! And this is what he actually does if, <laughs> if he gets on your way out. He can ground pound them off, um, off of you like that. Or just, you know, get the baby back onto your back. You know, just by doing that and those little switch places. But yeah, that's what he's trying to do with that ground pound. He's not trying to hit you, per se, <laughs> per se by making the shockwaves. It, the shockwaves just happen when he hits the ground. He's aiming for Yoshi so he can ride on Yoshi's back. <laughs> I love that. It's such a nice, fun, silly thing. I mean, look, look how happy he is. Bowser is so, so happy to be riding the green donkey. <laughs> Alright, now we can go back to the map, I suppose. Now, back over... At least I think it's still here on the GBA version. I forgot all about this. At uh, 1-3. I'll, I'll see you at a future spot here. You'll see when I get there. Okay, over here. See this? This is... This little particular area with the munchers down below. This is really early in the level. You can get up here. Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of coins up here. <laughs> I don't know how many you can actually get out of there, but that's... That's a rather, rather interesting little secret that I forgot to show when I came through this level. Like, can I jump up around- oh, I can jump up around here, of course, but I mean, is there anything else to find besides the coinages? No. Nah. It's just that, that shoot that I- you know, like, I, I hit a, a wall up there and I just get pooped out the shoot, so, yeah. <laughs> just a little fun giblet there going on with the level. Now I think we should go into the comments section, I guess you could say. So what I am going to do here is... wait, which level was... It was this one. Okay, so I'll see you at the spot with the mole tank. Yeah, remember the mole tank on this one? Yeah, you're gonna, you'll see what I'll be doing there. <laughs> Trees look like fuzzies. Must eat and touch. Oh, it's not possible. It's not possible. All right, so remember this? I was told by Wellington that uh, the way to get that one up is to use the mole tank and go underneath the world and I probably should have known this considering I remembered that trick from the level of the helicopters even coins down here and everything <laughs> so thank you for telling me that look at that look at that we are off 
<laughs> we got that one up. But, you know, you can't really do anything else besides get that one up because that, you know, the bubble disappears and yeah. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to show in this level is that, um, you know, that baby Mario section with the blocks and stuff like that. There's actually a way to keep that go. Oops, keep that going until the very end. And I, I figured this out, but it's, it's kind of, kind of tricky. <laughs> It's, it has to do with manipulating the, the, that star, you know, get, like getting it as far along as you can, collecting it, and then doing the run. But basically, you can get Baby Mario all the way to the end of the level, so we're going to wait until the star just gets out of its prison on its own. There we go. And then we follow it. And then we follow it. We go... So this is going to take a while, I, I know, but we're, we'll get there, I promise you. <laughs> I just love those goonies when they're running like that. They always seem to appear in threes. And I'm just gonna follow this down and well um uh can the baby kinda Well can I at least hit No I can't without the baby. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, man. And that's gonna make the star disappear, isn't it? Dang it! <laughs> I just had to take that hit, didn't I? Okay, let's get that star rolling again, I suppose. Maybe I should actually kill the enemies, too, along the way back and stuff like that. I don't know if I can even switch places with the star now. I probably can. Uh, let's just try and go maybe over it, perhaps, maybe. Uh, like at a higher ceiling area. Oh, poopers. Well, let's try it here, I guess. Because now I got stuff cleared out, and maybe I'll have enough room when I go down and around this way. No, not enough room. Dang that! Freaking enemy swarm causing me to lose the baby in my star chance. <laughs> let's, let's try it again until I get it. Ah, that's a good spot to switch with the star. Okay. Yeah, that big downhill area near the beginning of this run. Okay, I'm just gonna follow it without despawning it or touching it and let it go for as far as you can get it to go. Chomp Rock, don't get in my way. Well, uh, is that gonna come? Uh, well, I guess that's as far as it'll go! <laughs> so now we got Baby Mario's time maxed out, and we can grab this star here. Look at this, look at this run that we've got going here now. Look at that, it's magical, but oh yeah, I gotta get that star too. Yeah, so you can actually get Baby Mario all the way over here and get the prize of hitting this box. Yeah, it's it's difficult to do this, and this is your only prize. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's nice, I guess, if you can figure that out because it's like a puzzle in on itself with the the level, but the prize stinks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go plop over to Prince Froggy's level three dash four, I do believe, and. I was told something about the battle with Prince Froggy as well, so yeah, let's go into his belly. A what? Finally. Didn't think I'd have trouble with Prince Froggy's fourth on a speed run back. <laughs> so, okay. Over here, at getting hit by a flower is the boss. Now, I was told by Arctic God that you can bounce eggs off the sides of the belly to hit the uvula, and if you hit it on the side, basically it'll cause more damage than if you would shoot straight up. So I guess I could speed up the boss fight quite a bit. <laughs> So here we go, let's give this a shot, oh ho ho ho, oh yes, jolly good. I'm still gonna stay in the center though, it just seems like a, the best plan to go by, and we're gonna go shoot it around, and I made it wiggle like crazy, so it's one hit, well, <laughs> that's fine, all is okay. I'm gonna do, like speed there, I guess. I say speed it up a little bit there. <laughs> now that I got two eggs, I can kind of catch up on the egg rhythm and whatnot. So, uh, hmm. I don't know if it's 
speeding things along. Maybe it is. Perhaps it is. Uh, maybe. Perhaps. Might be. I'm not really counting the eggs. Well, I win. <laughs> Poor Yoshi has to be put through this again. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Alright. That's taken care of. <laughs> There's one more level that I'd like to go and show. Uh, I don't have to look back as to what other thingajigger it was. See, I got it written down as part 10, so I think it's th uh, this one then, I think. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I just need to get to the mouse section. Whoops! Well, uh, whoa! Look at that. <laughs> that works perfectly. <laughs> just, just what I intended on doing. All right, this spot in the level. <laughs> I was told by Adam Stamps that there's a hidden wing cloud in one of these little alcoves. There is indeed. It's right there. So, uh, yeah, you just kind of, kind of extrude those dealios. You just shoot an egg straight up that works. Oh, just for stars. But that is a nice little secret nonetheless, so thank you for telling me. Now, I think that's all the things that I've gotten comment-wise as of this moment in time. So, I, I think, uh, well, this walkthrough is unfortunately over, except for, you know, showing you the game over screen. So I think I'm gonna kind of go find myself a bottomless pit or something like that and jump down it a few times. <laughs> And with that, I'm gonna end off the walkthrough. <laughs> I don't think there's any bottomless pit in 1-1 actually, so I just let the timer run out a bunch of times. I chose that save file because there wasn't, you know, any, a whole a hu huge accumulation of lives, but yeah, you'll probably notice that I always seem to show the game over screen at the very end. There's just no real practical way to show it when I keep accumulating lives like crazy, is there? <laughs> So it makes the most sense to show it at the very end because, well, since the walkthrough is over, it's game over, I guess. <laughs> so with that, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough, and I will see you in the next walkthrough.